the almighty agent, Aaron Bauer, along with my brand new co-host, hostess, Pedro DeLuca. Hostess, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great start, great start. Right. Everybody's going to love it now because we got two brand new hosts. One quit and one was forced to quit. Yeah, right. That's a good way to put it. AIW Upper Management. Go ahead, Pedro. You're the one that knows everything around here, so start us off. Well, Aaron, as everyone knows, it's been a very busy summer for Absolute Intense Wrestling. We've been all over the Tri-County, Tri-State area. We've been to Indianapolis. We've been to Columbus. We've been to Cincinnati, all over the place. We've been on the Warp Tour. We've been on the Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Fest. We've been everywhere, seen all kinds of new talent come in, all kinds of talent going out. And as it comes to Ascension, our last live event, some big news coming out that I'd like to get your opinion on involving one Bobby Beverly and Eric Ryan. Uh, there's no comment on that situation. I, why are you bringing up personal business anyways? This is an absolute intense wrestling. This is a television show. Well, I figured if anyone, you would have some input on this conversation. I have absolutely no comment. Let's go to the first match. You're already making me mad. Yeah. 
talk about it but it's something we must cover here Bobby Beverly Eric Ryan the young studs possibly the end forever as we've seen in that footage a total lack of communication total disarray in that matchup well if we're gonna cover it if we're gonna be showing footage of it and everybody's gonna see it then I will talk about it okay here it goes 
Problem number one, no agent there. And that wouldn't have been a problem unless problem number two didn't happen. Problem number two was Eric Ryan wasn't listening to me. I gave him a specific plan, a specific map to follow. You go this route and you win matches and you make money, okay? That's what the plan was. Well, he takes it upon himself to do his own thing, screw everything up, make us lose matches, and make us lose money. And that makes this a very angry agent. You understand me? All right, well, the Young Studs, no more. And another tag team on the AIW scene, Alpha Beta Duke, no more. Former tag team champions, Nick Belushi, nowhere to be found. Duke now, you know what? We're not talking about, we're not talking about Nick Belushi. I'm still talking about Eric Ryan. Eric Ryan, let me... Eric Ryan, I know you're watching. I know you're listening. What you need to do is get your head on straight. What you need to do is listen to the agent. I'm the agent. I'm the brains of the operation. Bobby Beverly, he's smart too. Eric Ryan, not so smart in the head. You understand me? And, and, and this is what's happening. If Eric Ryan doesn't want to be a part of the team, if he doesn't want to be a team player in the young studs along with agent Aaron Bauer, well then... He has a very, very bleak future here in AIW. Bleak future? How can you say that Eric Ryan has a bleak future? This is a young man that earlier this summer competed in the Chikara Young Lions Cup. If you ask me, Eric Ryan has a very bright future, not only here in AIW, but abroad nationally. How do you think he got noticed? How do you think he got noticed? It was through having an excellent agent such as myself and an even better tag team partner in Bobby Beverly. Bobby Beverly's the money shot. You realize it was a singles tournament, not a tag team tournament, correct? Hey, we're not here to talk about specifics. We're talking about who got who into tournaments. I thought you were talking about Alpha Beta Duke. What are you going off subject for? Well, speaking of specifics, Alpha Beta Duke could be done forever. We have seen at Ascension, the Duke re-enter the singles ranks as he competed in the six-pack challenge.
Corner of Lou on the outside there. The King of Cleveland. Right now it's Todd Hansel. What a combination! Using the ropes for the leverage. off-campus housing because uh, for some reason the university is a little touchy about having one-man frat houses so uh, I had to rent this apartment uh, complete with fake tree and uh, flat-screen TV showing football of course so I'm still a man on some level but you know it's funny because now that I'm the only one here I've kind of had to reinvent myself if you will uh, trying to go after that those singles titles that are so important and so prestigious here in AIW so that's exactly what I did, you know. Uh, at our last show, AIW, I was in a six-man scramble for a shot at the intense title. Shot at Shima Zion, international superstar. Everything was going exactly as I wanted it to. When I drove Dalton Castle's head right into the mat, had a one, two, three. There was four of us left, and I was ready to go. I had my eye on Colt, and my eye on M Dog. My fault. I didn't have my eye on Arrow. So Arrow took it upon himself to sneak in when I wasn't looking, and he rolled me up. Yeah, he got me. He got me one, two, three. No excuses. He got me. So Arrow, here's what we're going to do. You seem to be a stand-up guy. You seem to uh, get around, as it were. You finally managed to come to the most uh, prestigious company in Cleveland. So we're glad to have you. So I figure, what better way to welcome you than for you and I to face off 
at Hell on Earth 6, November 26th. I mean, it's real easy, real, real easy, to beat a guy when he's not looking. So this time, how about I turn around, look you right in the eye, and let's see if you can do it again. Are you man enough behind that mask to face me one-on-one? -on -one? I think you are, and I hope you do. Because when I drive you to the mat and pin you one, two, three, that's step one to rebuilding what was once an empire here in AIW, Alpha Beta Duke. When I get that title around my waist that I deserve, I'll have people lined up outside my door to join up my house, and I can finally get out of this frickin' apartment. So what do you say, Errol? You and me, let's go. There we see it, comments from the Duke, challenging Arrow who made his debut at Ascension for Hell on Earth 6. It will be a one-on-one -on -one contest between the Duke and Arrow. Now before we go, Aaron, if it's alright with you, let's go into footage from the Absolute Intense Wrestling Absolute Heavyweight Champion, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. Nobody told me we were going to footage. I thought we were going to focus on me for the next couple minutes. I'm so upset. I'm going to start text messaging somebody right now. Does that guy even compete anymore? Uh, Alright, fine. I quit. I quit. We can't lose another host! Come on, Aaron! Come back! The bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano, your AIW absolute champion. You know, for the past couple months, AIW has thrown challenger upon challenger upon challenger in my way, and I think I've done pretty well for myself. You know, this time, I'm going to make a little bit of a request. A request to you, Michael Bonham Prasad. Now, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I can look back, look at my work, see things I can improve on in my future title defenses. And I looked at the AIW calendar, and I saw it coming up was AIW Hell on Earth 6. So I thought to myself, hmm, Johnny, um, maybe I should watch Hell on Earth 5. What did I do that night? And the main event, I took you on for your intense title, Michael Bonversad. And guess what you did? You beat me. I've done distraction, doesn't matter, whatever happened. At the end of the day, you won. And now that, that just doesn't sit well with me. You know, my Hell on Earth, my, my record at Hell on Earth, it doesn't seem really good. So you know what I'm gonna do, Bomber? Me and you, one more time. How about that? Me and you have had quite the history here in AIW. Long, long history, pal. And how about this? At Hell on Earth 6, I'll give you a title shot so I can show you once and for all that I am better than you.